Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be helping others understand the LGBTQ. Because if you have a sibling or a child or any other relative that tend to fall under the category of LGBTQ and try to better understand that person and having a hard time trying to understand, well, I'm going to be trying my best to help you understand because, you know, a lot of people need help these days and that's okay because I'm going to try my best to help you. And to make sure I don't repeat myself in this video, I wrote down some notes. Shout out to my older brother who, um, who uh, suggested this because I repeat myself a lot in my videos. So this could either be a permanent situation or a one-time thing, considering I had to write down a lot of notes for this. So anyway, first category is lesbian, which is the category I fall under. It's basically a homosexual woman, basically a woman liking another woman. And gay is, a bit similar, except it's a homosexual man, basically a man liking another man. And there's going to be a Karen out there who says, well, God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Well, yeah, I hate, I hate to break it to you too, Karen. It's actually called homo sapiens, not hetero sapiens. Man, a lot of homophobic people really need therapy these days. I mean... I hate it when other people discriminate against the LGBTQ and I feel bad for those people. And I feel bad for myself too because I haven't gotten discriminated against, not yet at least, but there's a lot of other people who tend to do get um, discriminated against because of who they, who they like and who their sexual preferences are and a lot and things like that, you know, but we're not hurting anyone. We're all people here. We're all just regular people. Anyway, next up is bisexual, a person who has a sexual attraction towards both men and women. And yes, bisexual people do exist because some people, <coughs> Karens, tend to say, why are you bisexual? Can't you just pick a side? Are you gay or are you straight? Karen, I'm, I'm, again, I don't want to get on your head today, but I want to let you know that this isn't a thing that we choose. It's just something that happens. So why don't you just shut up, mind your business, and go sit in the corner so I can help you understand. You really need therapy. <laughs> anyway, the next one is transgender, a person having a gender identity or a gender expression that differs from the sex that they were signed at birth. So let me give you an example. If a male transitioned to a female, like they get gender assignment surgery and um, looked more like a female, and they have to use, you have to use correct pronouns. Like if a male transitioned to a female, you have to use the correct, you have to use female pronouns, she, her, and all of that. And if a female transitioned into a male, you have to use male pronouns, he, him, all of that. And a lot of people tend to be confused about transgender and that's okay. A lot of a lot of people tend to be confused. So I'm a trying my best to at least help most people understand this because a lot of people tend to don't understand what's going on and whatnot. And that's okay. I'm trying my best here. All right. I'm not. I'm not Einstein or whatnot. I'm. I'm just a regular human being, regular girl who's just trying to bring peace and kindness to the world. As best I can. So, anyway. Next up is asexual. A person who has little to no sexual attraction towards others. Basically, man and or women. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that either. Because, you know, sex isn't that important to most people. Which is okay. Some people tend to um, rather be friends with men and or women. Which is okay because, I mean, lots of people have friends except me I don't have any friends yeah I don't have any friends just just 
Just don't, don't go out in the comment section saying, oh, I'm sure you have friends. No, I don't. I don't have friends. Anyway, the next one is non-binary, which took me a while to understand this one. A person that doesn't fit into the gender bi binary of male and female. And since non-binary people tend to not fit into the binary of male and female, they prefer to use pronouns such as they and them instead of the instead of the other binary pronouns like she, her, he, him, and whatnot. So they prefer to use um, they and them pronouns to make them feel a bit more comfortable. And that's what the LGBTQ is all about. They're just trying to be more comfortable and try to fit in and nobody's perfect. Everybody is their own person, like me. I'm a lesbian, I'm a person who likes girls and it's just something that happens. It doesn't, it, it's not a choice that, that we just, that just comes out of nowhere. It's just, it's just something that happens. And there's going to be a lot of people, <coughs> Karens, who will make fun of you. But I want to let you guys know that you guys aren't alone. You guys are, <coughs> excuse me, you guys are surrounded by a lot of people who care about you and want to better understand you. And that's a good thing because if you surround yourself with better people, then you won't feel so lonely anymore. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you got a better understanding of the LGBTQ. So like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.